Take up one idea. Make that one idea your life. Dream of it. Think of it. Live on that idea. Let the brain, the body, muscles, nerves, every part of your body be full of that idea, and just leave every other idea alone. This is the way to success, and this is the way great spiritual giants are produced, you have to grow from the inside out. None can teach you, none can make you spiritual, there is no other teacher but your own soul. In a conflict between the heart and the brain, follow your heart. In a day, when you don't come across any problems you can be sure that you are traveling in a wrong path, the great secret of true success, of true happiness, is this, the man or woman who asks for no return, the perfectly unselfish person, is the most successful. All power is within you, you can do anything and everything. Believe in that, do not believe that you are weak, do not believe that you are half crazy lunatics, as most of us do nowadays. You can do anything and everything, without even the guidance of anyone. Stand up and express the divinity within you. The greatest religion is to be true to your own nature. Have faith in yourselves. The greatest sin is to think yourself weak. Anything that makes you weak physically, intellectually and spiritually, reject it as poison. Dare to be free, dare to go as far as your thought leads, and dare to carry that out in your life. We are what our thoughts have made us, so take care about what you think. Words are secondary. Thoughts life, they travel far. Be not afraid of anything. You will do marvelous work, it is fearlessness that brings heaven even in a moment. Arise, awake, stop not till the goal is reached. They alone live, who live for others. All love is expansion, all selfishness is contraction. Love is therefore the only law of life. He who loves, lives, he who is selfish is dying. Therefore love for love's sake, because it is the only law of life, just as you breathe to live. You cannot believe in God until you believe in yourself. Neither seek, nor avoid, take what comes. Strength is life, weakness is death, expansion is life, contraction is death, love is life, hatred is death. Feel nothing, know nothing, do nothing, have nothing, give up all to God, and say utterly, thy will be done. We only dream this bondage. Wake up and let it go. Comfort is no test of truth. Truth is often far from being comfortable. The fire that warms us can also consume us, it is not the fault of the fire. Learn everything that is good from others, but bring it in, and in your own way absorb it, do not become others. Was there ever a more horrible blasphemy than the statement that all the knowledge of God is confined to this or that book? How dare men call God infinite, and yet try to compress him within the covers of a little book? Do one thing at a time, and while doing it put your whole soul into it to the exclusion of all else. We are responsible for what we are, and whatever we wish ourselves to be, we have the power to make ourselves. If what we are now has been the result of our own past actions, it certainly follows that whatever we wish to be in the future can be produced by our present actions, so we have to know how to act, whatever you think that you will be. Ask nothing, want nothing in return. Give what you have to give, it will come back to you, but do not think of that now. All differences in this world are of degree, and not of kind, because oneness is the secret of everything. Each work has to pass through these stages, ridicule, opposition, and then acceptance. Those who think ahead of their time are sure to be misunderstood, whatever you think that you will be. A fool may buy all the books in the world, and they will be in his library, but he will be able to read only those that he deserves to. The mistake is that we want to tie the whole world down to our own plane of thought and to make out mind the measure of the whole universe. Meditation can turn fools into sages but unfortunately fools never meditate. Stand up, be bold, and take the blame on your own shoulders. Do not go about throwing mud at other, for all the faults you suffer from, you are the sole and only cause. Have faith in yourself all power is in you. Even the poison of a snake is powerless, if you can firmly deny it. Do not hate anybody, because that hatred which comes out from you must, in the long run, come back to you, if you love, that love will come back to you, completing the circle. Where can we go to find God if we cannot see him in our own hearts and in every living being? I am proud to belong to a religion which has taught the world tolerance or universal acceptance. We believe not only in universal toleration but we accept all religion as true.